Ninja played with Drake and the world pretty much collectively sh bed. What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and welcome back to another episode of On The Topic Of. I hope you are doing fantastic whenever you're watching this video. I hope you've had a fantastic week if you are watching it on Friday when I do upload it. But today we're going to be talking about Drake. Uh, yes, Drake, the one that you know, God's Plan Drake the famous one, and the fact that he was playing with a famous streamer on Twitch by the name of Ninja. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Ninja, I'm going to assume that most people are familiar with Drake. If you aren't, go on Spotify, listen to his top five songs, then come back. I'll pause and wait. Welcome back. How do you like it? It's okay to me. Not really my cup of tea. With that being said, Ninja is a streamer on Twitch who is a really uh, kind-hearted individual from what I can see. He's a good dude uh, from what I can gather, of course, and he has grown exponentially uh, since Fortnite first came into the limelight earlier in 2018 and even towards the end of 2017. He's just been growing exponentially to the point that he hit over 180,000 subscribers earlier in the week during the stream in which he was playing with Drake. Now that is one part of the story, but the other part of the story is what I really want to focus on here. When this dude, Ninja, was playing with Drake, he was using his cell phone to communicate with his team member, which again was Drake, the rapper guy. Still kind of mind-boggling. Uh, the audio quality was not that great. The gameplay was subpar, if I must say so myself. I mean, Drake's a busy dude. He's not that great at Fortnite. Ninja, of course, very, very good at Fortnite. Uh, but with that being said, these two guys were bringing in over 600,000 concurrent viewers at one point on Twitch. That means that 600,000 people were watching these two dudes play Fortnite at one time. Now, this story is kind of two-sided here. On this side, you have Ninja and the fact that he is continuously breaking the Twitch record for subscriptions. I wouldn't be surprised if he hit 200,000 subscribers this weekend. It is mind-boggling how popular this man is. On top of that, he's also playing with very famous individuals and topping out at over 600,000 viewers at one time. Uh, to put that into perspective, the only stream record that's bigger than that is one that's a global tournament, uh, which was, you know, putting teams of professional gamers against each other in, I believe, League or some nerdy shit that I don't really care about. Um, but the fact of the matter is, this was a very, very significant week for Twitch and a very significant week for content creators like myself, and more than likely like you if you are even watching a Twitch stream, a YouTube stream, a Mixer stream, whatever it may be, it's probably going to affect you in some way, shape, or form way on down the line. Now, this is significant for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, this story is major because Ninja continuously breaks the Twitch subscriber record every time someone subscribes. Literally, uh, he hit 180,000, and every time he gets another one, he just continuously breaks that record. I wouldn't be surprised if the dude hit over 200,000 this weekend, which would be mind-boggling to me. But on top of that, uh, you also have the fact that we have a famous streamer playing with somebody that is a famous public figure, and this is the start of something very, very big for the online space. Uh, we've seen this in a couple of other forms in the past. We've had Post Malone doing a couple of streams. We've had Snoop Dogg doing some streams. We have had Deadmau5 who streams regularly and has been on the front page of Twitch more than once. Uh, it's amazing to see how many people are finally realizing the potential that Twitch has not only to be entertaining and to gain an audience and to share other parts of your work, but also to genuinely make a couple of extra bucks on the side when it comes down to it. Now, for those that have watched my streams, every time I get a donation, a sub, a bit, whatever it might be, I always make sure to remind people that it's not about the money for me and it never has been. Uh, my channel here on YouTube got demonetized a couple of months back, a couple of weeks back, whatever it was. Uh, I don't make money here on YouTube anymore whatsoever, but I'm still over here pumping out content, grinding, trying to get back to that level. Uh, but more so, that's just a title more than anything. I don't really, you know, need the money to survive. I'm not over here making my rent based off of what I make in Twitch bits and subscriptions and YouTube revenue and online content collaborations. I'm not dependent on that whatsoever. It's nice. It's fantastic. It's all going back into the stream, but I'm not dependent on it at all. However, for somebody that does look at that monetary aspect of what streaming can bring to the table, Twitch is definitely a viable source of income and a viable way to go ahead and project yourself out there into the world, and that's exactly what I believe that Drake was personally doing. The question has been asked, does he actually play Fortnite? The question has been asked, is he actually invested in the game? And I think that, you know, much like the majority of the younger population at this point, Drake probably enjoys a good game of Fortnite or two. We believe he was playing on the PlayStation 4. It might have been the PC. He says he has a scuff controller. It's yet to be confirmed at the time of making this video, but as that is said, it doesn't matter where he plays. It's the fact that he is playing it, and he was clearly enjoying himself, so I don't think it was a sponsored deal at all, but 
I will say that in the same way that somebody that listens to Drake may not have known what Twitch was, somebody that watches Twitch may have never heard of Drake. It's that cross collaboration of, a, of different sections of the population that normally wouldn't merge together. And that's what you're seeing right now on Twitch and a lot of other platforms online because of what's happening specifically this week with Fortnite, Drake and Ninja. Right now is an amazing time to be somebody that likes making content, to be somebody that specifically likes gaming content. Uh, because there are so many people that are jumping on board the hype train day after day after day. There are more people coming onto Twitch as each day passes. There are more people checking out Mixer. There are more people checking out YouTube Gaming. There are more people checking out Facebook Live and Facebook in general. There are so many resources uh, for gaming-centric content that there are just simply people checking it out and seeing what it is bringing to the table. And with all of that being taken into account, if you do start making content somewhere, there's a solid chance that you're going to get some eyes on that. More eyes than I would have gotten whenever I did start doing YouTube, when I started doing Twitch, etc. You have a higher potential now depending on where you go. All of that to the side, the main point of the story here is that more and more people are going to be tuning into live streams because of number one, Fortnite, because the game is still continuously taking the world by storm, and with the addition of a mobile edition of the game coming out over the course of the next few weeks, in fact, rolling out at the time of making this video on Thursday for some iOS users, it's just going to continue to grow and grow and grow, I would say for the next three to four months before we start to see it kind of peak and maybe even dribble off. But again, that's kind of up to how the developers react to the change that will inevitably come to the game. Uh, but even more so than that, if we start seeing more celebrities like Snoop, like Post Malone, like Dead Mouse, and especially huge ones like Drake uh, coming over to platforms like YouTube, like Twitch, like Facebook, wherever they might stream, and playing games and bringing their audiences with them, there's going to be exponential growth. It's, it's crazy how much growth we're going to see. Mark my words, it's going to blow up in 2018, people. It's going to blow up. I'm just along for the ride. I'm putting in my two cents as far as live content goes, and I'm still going to be grinding here on YouTube, but it certainly is going to be interesting to see where the industry goes over the course of the next five, six, seven years, because things are quickly, quickly changing. Even comparing January of 2018 to late March of 2018, things have changed exponentially. Uh, if you want to make content and you want to make it a viable thing in your future that is, uh, you know, seen by a lot of people, you better start doing something right now because it is definitely getting a little bit tight. There are a ton of people making stuff and you need to get your name in the hat because this is the Wild West and, uh, and now is your chance to take your shot. But with that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. How do you feel about Ninja? How do you feel about Drake and Ninja playing together? Or how do you like Drake's music? Leave it in the comment section down below. Anything is fine. I'll read it all. I'll reply to it all. I generally reply or at least interact with every single comment that I get on any kind of video that is uploaded. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do upload new stuff throughout the week and I'm live streaming over on Twitch.tv every morning, uh, weekday morning anyways, and every night, uh, most nights, except for Mondays normally, at Twitch.tv slash The Samuel Adams. You can find a full schedule, a full rundown, or if you want to keep up to date with everything, you can follow me on Twitter at Pretty Chill Guy or on Instagram at Samuel Adams Media. Enough of me pushing all of my stuff that I've made. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. I will talk to you on a live stream or on the next episode of The Drop. I will talk to you soon. Peace.